Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Clock Tower. We are through Helen's first scenario, and now we're on a slight bit of downtime. So, let's go ahead and uh, continue to talk to Gots about how we should hang around for a little while. Or let's not. Okay. Let's talk to Jennifer. Helen. It's alright, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about Scissorman. If we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. Jeez. No pressure. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissor Man? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Ugh. Well, shall we go? Okay. Boom, we're out. Somehow, I must find a clue about Scissor Man. Okay, and once again, we get a bit of a place to look, so... Let's go back to the hotel. I wonder if Edward's there, right? I don't see Edward. <laughs> Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Scissor Man. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the clock tower case, though. Well, maybe he'll go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him, then. Would you? Please tell him to come back soon. Okay. And actually, um, that should be... It's back to the right, right? I'm actually not going to go to the library. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. Helen, are you alright? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation. Oh, by the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the... statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the... clock tower murders? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn! I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue about Scissor Man. I mean, I can't move, can I? It's just investigation. Let's keep talking, I guess. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. Yeah, this calls back to the beginning of the game. Well, if he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. All right, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Okay, so that's two hints to go to the library now. Whew, okay. Let's go to that library. Metropolitan Library. I don't think we've been here before. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Wow, okay. I did it. I did that thing you wanted me to do. <sighs> oh, wait, it was in the... There we go. Let's go back to the police station. I'll ask Gots about Rick. Right? Because remember, we sent off Harris to Rick. So that should be where the statue is. Gots. 
Got any new info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick, that sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family? Of the Clock Tower case? That would mean he... Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. Um, alright. But anyway, what about him? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? Well, that statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissorman. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too. Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. Right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... Ask Gots, yes or no. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, um... This can... This, this'll basically affect which level I play next. Um, now remember, we sent this off to go to Rick, so... Gots is offering to get it from Rick. So I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna make a bad decision. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. And, you know, he doesn't. <laughs> if he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Scenario 2, Edward. So yeah, here we are. We're in the library. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he is now in the head librarian's office. Hooray! I see. Thank you. Okay, now we we actually have a a place to go. Hey, there you are, you little scamp. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Really, that's it? Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. Now that's it. Great. And no, I cannot skip that. Alright, see ya, bro. It's boring in the hotel, but that clock is driving me crazy here. Oh, interesting. We have some stairs now. Oh, wait a minute. I don't want to go upstairs yet, I want to do this floor by floor. Oh, that's where I came from, for God's sake. I'm good at video games. For some reason, I thought I came out of the left side of the screen. Like the left wall. The reading room, it cannot be entered without a key. Fine, moving on. I'm sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Oh, perfect. It's a tight little office, isn't it? Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. Well, mission complete. Let's get out of here. By the way, Mr. Sullivan... Yes, I have heard. There is something you would like to research. 
I will give you a key to the reading room so you can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and the statue? Oh, yes, that's it. However, I do not recall Professor Barton leaving it with me. But I will look into it, so you might stop by on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Yeah, so again, you know, I went to the complete wrong location by not having Gots pick it up because I thought it would be here, but it's not. Also, I wonder, if you sit next door, can I go through that back door of his place to the reading room? Whatever. I'm still going in. Now I can enter the reading room. That means I want to actually enter it, by the way. Helen, thank you. <sighs> the reading room. There are many valuable works, valuable works here, only available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will explain the Scissor Man. I do rather dig this music. Books relating to England are up there. I mean, okay. That is some echoey stepladder. Lords of Northern England, this is it! Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, good. Oh, I see. Great. Is this whole level going to turn into a dungeon now? This gives me a clue about Scissor Man. I should leave soon. Okay, so I didn't get... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to leave empty-handed, right? I don't have the statue, but I do have some valuable research information on Scissor Man. Okay, so... That was cool. Library's closing. I'll be a good uh, patron and not overstay my welcome. Strange. The clock is chiming. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Helen? It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. That was nice knowing you, Sullivan. <laughs> oh, I'll go with you. Okay. Thank you. Please follow me. Never mind. I guess we're going. The clock hasn't been working great. Ugh. I wonder if someone has been messing with it. This voice acting's fantastic. Mr. Sullivan? Ooh! Wow! Are you freaking kidding me? That is awful. Where am? Where are you? Oh, the stairs. Okay. no goddamn sense. That bleh, reading room? How the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do I? Where do I? Here. Do I, like, push the stepladder on him? I think I do. Don't screw it up. Uh. Yeah. Get wrecked. Of course, that prop is now used, right? Edward's voice from upstairs? That's Edward's voice? He can't still be here. Yeah, so that prop is used up. I didn't mention this with earlier installments, but, you know, I can't use that stepladder again. I'll have to find something else. So, yeah. He can't still be here. Anyway. Well, Edward's not here, but... Damn. 
She's the library clerk I just saw. Oh, I'm sure she's fine. Oh, oh my god. Always sticking her head in books, huh? This music's kind of rad. Good. Please be hidden. There's nothing I can click. Come on. Come on. Are we good? Uh. We might be good. Damn, they really pushed the intensity with that one. Wow, that poor clerk. Ugh. Well, that was a freaking disaster. And if that clerk wasn't dead before, she absolutely is now. Woof. Doesn't seem possible. There were so many people here a minute. Yes, yeah, so yeah, all, all there were two people here a minute ago. Can you believe it? Alright, so anyway, Edward. I think I'm probably gonna go back upstairs. Because you know Edward is in Sullivan's office and we checked everywhere else. Unless I can walk past these stairs? No, there's nothing there. So it's really... Helen? That's Edward's voice and it's coming from inside that room. Okay, I didn't expect that. Edward! Edward! <laughs> Smooth. What? Whoa, whoa! No, 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 no. Again, I love that you just saunter up to the door when you're ready to open it. This game doesn't let up. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, oh no, 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 not, not there, not there, not there, not there. I want to go back to the front desk. That place is safe. Assuming he doesn't freaking teleport in front of me again. That's what I freaking thought. This is ridiculous. I do I do like that heartbeat like zoom in, like oh my god, are we are we safe? I'm not sure. Okay, that does it. You know, the library is actually not very big. It was a lot more difficult to deal with the, the office. Gotta say. I'm actually going to go up to Clock Tower, the Clock Tower room, again, because there's something I want. Maybe this? 
operation panel of the big clock. Something's written on it. Hint number seven. There, that's that's what I wanted. I'm collecting hints. All right, let's go back downstairs to the three rooms that I can check. There are envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is Professor Barton. I really shouldn't look inside. I wonder if there's anything else. Oh. A key's inside the drawer. I now have the collection room key. Okay. I'm sure the collection room is in the back. Oh, that's what this was, so I really couldn't have gone through the professor's room Anyway, anything else? Probably not. Everything's normal here. Okay. Now I can enter the collection room. And now I will actually enter the collection room. The collection room is where Mr. Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he is very proud. Mr. Sullivan has shown you this room many times, this time it's pitch dark inside. Didn't there used to be an aquarium here? I could use the light from it. Don't I also... like, I have a damn flashlight, right? Maybe that just doesn't work. Wow. So is he actually... Really? He didn't even chase me, he was just standing there? I was kind of hoping for a cool glass breaking, but alright, guess not. Let's use that front desk again. What a genuinely terrifying scenario. Alright, we should be good. I thought that that was good enough, I guess. There we go, now I'm hiding. Sorry, I thought that that would have done it. I think we're good. Sounds good. This game, putting on the pressure, huh? Boom. So let's, let's try that again. I assume that the light is still on in the collection room, so let's, uh, actually investigate. Oof, creepy blue glow, huh? Anyway. There are many ancient swords, strangely shaped pots, and other valuable artifacts. Okay. 
Oh, this then? Let's go all the way around. There are many of Mr. Sullivan's artifacts. Looking at them would turn an art dealer green with envy. Okay. What? Is that the scissor man? Is he just right there? Jeez. Are you goddamn kidding with this? Like... I guess I'll hide from him again, and then come all the way back again. This is ridiculous. The good news, though, is that there's only so many spawn points. I think I'm good. Actually, you know what? I never did go into that door. Right? That's one thing I just never tried. I swear to God. Well, at the same time, nothing... really happened? Which chair was the one that... was it this one? I oh. you'd still be here. Hey, hey. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Okay. All right. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Eh. But he was already hiding there. Be a good boy and don't worry. Yeah. We'll make it. Okay. A vent. It's covered with a wire screen fastened with screws. That's it. Edward could fit through. He's small. If I could just get the screen off. Well, at this point, I, you know, think we're going to want to do, but at the same time, before I make it that far. Um, right. To the right is just Mr. Sullivan's office and I don't need that place or that collection room. I think the collection room would have had the statue if Sullivan had the statue. But you know, we're in the entirely wrong level. So I'm just kind of dicking around here trying to get out. <laughs> Oh, did I win? The police are here. A police car siren is heard. Someone must have called the police. Can I go back? I guess we're going out here. The door cannot be opened from the front. Many policemen are swarming around outside looking for a way in. There are so many people just on the other side of the door. Oh, now I can actually... Alright. Anyway, I apologize for the endless siren noise, but I want to go back to where I found Edward because I didn't really get a good look at that room. Oh, a computer from the Library. Whoops. I hope it's not working to the outside. Yeah, but door, please. Let's hope that those sirens go away when I go in, huh? Thank you. Anyway, this is where we were before I looked around. Everything seems normal here. Nothing that seems useful. I wonder if there's something useful here. A screwdriver is in one of the drawers. You now have the screwdriver. Yeah, I couldn't exactly open the vent with wire cutters, could I? So, yeah, I think we're good. Anything with the fax machine, by the way? More faxes from the killer? A copier, a rather primitive copier. They are obviously having budgetary problems here, too. Just like at the university. 
That's unfortunate. So here's a question. When I go back out, are the sirens still going to be there? I'm genuinely curious. Huh, okay. I think we're done with sirens now. So there's that. Now let's go back and uh, help Edward out, right? So far, no uh, scissor man appearance, right? That's that's good. There's just a dead body I keep walking by every time I enter and leave this room. Um, yeah, it was here. And after this, I think I'll be able to peace out. I do actually like that I keep the inventory from previous chapters. It makes sense. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. Okay, I will. All right, we got Edward out now. Really, the only thing we could possibly do is go back to the front and deal with the police because everything else is just a regular room in the library and the clock tower is no good. So, yeah. Police. Oh, it's just taking me out automatically? Alright. That's probably not good. Oh! Hey, teach. Teach, hang in there. Sweet voice acting, bro. Hang in there. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, it was over. There was no way for us to escape from Scissor Man. Oh no, really? Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, are you asleep already? <gasps> oh no. Jennifer. Jennifer. Ooh. Jennifer, hold on. Oof. And that's why you send gods to get the statue. Now, if I had originally told Barton to pick up the statue, um, and himself and give it to Sullivan, then going to the library would have been the correct scenario. Like, technically, what I everything I played through in the library was the correct way to beat the game, but I wasn't supposed to be in the library in the first place. I was supposed to send Gots over to pick up the statue from Rick. So, next time I tune in, that's what I'm going to do. This got us a bad ending. So we'll we'll see how uh, that plays out. And you know what? I'll take a look at the hints I picked up too. That'll make for a little uh, extra flavor, I think. This music's bizarre. It's interesting, but it's pretty unconventional sounding. That's I got a oh man. That's his man is just relentless in this game. It's out of control. instrumentals oh wow I think we're um, starting to see backgrounds that I'm we just haven't encountered in game it's kind of interesting and it's hard to tell what things are because they're in kind of black and white I do like that there are ending movies only strangely enough the H ending had like a cutscene looking end quality to it with like the way the car was driving everything else was uh, in-game models I guess this was too but this went full-on like cutscene the freaking scissor man like he's he's really clanking those scissors you know in the first game he just marched toward you you could hear the scissors make a snip sound but now they make a clank it's weird 
And he's all hunched over and loping toward you, kind of limping as well. Oh damn, is that guy like pointing a gun at him? I can't even really tell very well. These credits would be faster if they would have more than two names or one name on them, but then again, I guess they want to let the song play out, or the music play out. Sorry, I, I, I say, every once in a while I say song, and like, I have been corrected on that. You sing songs, which means that songs require lyrics, so this wouldn't be a song. Actor, female character, actor, male character, you can kind of tell. Or maybe not. Shows that I know. Unless it's just not the two mains. No, different different character. Alright, you got me. Hey, wait. This music sounds like the original Clock Tower's music. That, that, that little instrumental that... Not anymore, but it kind of did. They're really going all out with these uh, these credits. It's just screenshot after screenshot. You know, not so much on the the scrolling. Now, from now on, when I get credit sequences, I'm going to skip. But that is, I hope to God I'm allowed to skip, because these are pretty long. Publicity staff. Debugger. Yeah. This game plays well, it's just that, like, the characters can get clunky when they have to approach objects. They, like, kind of spin around and orient themselves first. There's no bugs, but, like, the gameplay in general is a little on the slow side. I think the original Clock Tower was smoother just because there was less for you to do. You know, you go left and right. So what are your environments we haven't seen? I'm actually very excited about that. Sound effect program. I can get behind this. Again, the music's weird, but like, it's interesting. Like, you're not going to hear music like this anywhere else. And I do like that it's still uh, human entertainment that's making the game. I'm just curious as to where we're going to go. No more screenshots, so maybe we're about done. There we go. Presented by Human. Alright. Okay. Rank E. Survivor unidentified. Yep. Sorry. Lame ending. Oh, get out of here. I can actually like watch it. That's really cool. And you can skip it, thank God. That's actually really cool. I can watch uh, previous endings. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, now about that pamphlet. I do have some, uh, also there's this. I didn't even really pay attention to that at first. Alright, hints, I've gotten a few. One, the main character is determined by the number of times Harris is spoken to in the corridor during the prologue. If you've spoken to two or more times, Jennifer becomes the main character. Straight up, and that's really useful information. You could just straight up not know how to play half the game. Endings except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. That actually makes me happy. So now that I've done ending E, I could just make it to the last scenario and save. And just play with that as I see fit. One extremely important point is who is asked to investigate the statue in the prologue. Do not forget who was asked, or else you'll get ending E. If Helen is the protagonist in the last scenario, be very careful of the item she is given by Harris. If she uses it. I love how this is actually, like, really good advice. Alright. 
Well, there you go. That was a very interesting uh, scenario. Miserable failure. So the next thing I'm going to do is load to where Gots asks me if he wants to investigate Rick. And uh, I'm going to say yes and not kill the game. But for now, I must stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We managed to get the first of our endings. Again, the reason for this is that we chose the wrong path regarding where the statue was. We thought it was in the library, but of course it was not. We had had um, Barton give it to Harris to give it to Rick the butler, well, the former butler, of the Barrows family. So next time, as I said, we are going to have Gots go over and grab it from him. So I guess we'll see how that plays out. Um, I believe it's going to be a completely different level because we know it's not in the library, so that ought to be interesting to see. It's really cool that I get to actually play a different level and not go through all the same steps as before, except this time with a better ending. It is nice. Again, if I had sent the, um, the statue to Sullivan myself, then we would have played this level that you just watched. But I didn't, so next time we won't. We'll find out where the game takes us. Until next time, everyone.